And October is Down Syndrome Awareness Month. Navigating the challenges and appreciating the unique differences is a journey for many families affected. KTRE's Mariela Gonzalez has one family story. I was 41 when I got pregnant with Jasper. I'm We've been trying for a while. <laughs> Christy Kyle of Douglas is the mother of 12 year old Jasper. Kyle says Jasper is funny, loving and determined. She says she declined to take diagnosis screenings for Down syndrome during her pregnancy due to her health risk. And so it to me, it did not matter if he had he or she had Down syndrome or not. Nacogdoches pediatric doctor Mutabe Sakumbi explains screenings and diagnosis tests are performed during the first and second trimesters. Because early intervention is the key. Sakumbi says screenings benefit parents by getting to learn about the disability and plan ahead on how you're going to be able to cope and manage and treat this child so you do the best you can for a child. They're unique individuals. They just happen to have an extra copy, that's all. Within seven school districts in Nacogdoches County, Kane says right now there are five students with Down syndrome. She says in the classroom, children with a disability mostly require instructional support to help improve their academic skills. They do need some extra fine motor skills to work with handwriting, tying shoes, um, self-help. And Kyle says Jasper is truly one of a kind. God gives us all gifts and I feel like Jasper's is to be able to not to see bad in people and he gives the best hugs ever. Mary Ella Gonzalez, KTRE East Texas News 9. To help spread awareness and celebrate all disabilities, you can meet the Nacogdoches County School Special Education Department this Saturday at the Ability Strong Festival. It will take place at Bonita Creek Park in Nacogdoches from noon to 4.